A live look right now at Snoqualmie Pass. Smooth, pretty sailing through the passes right now. But will it continue this week for drivers heading across for the holiday on this episode of Fox 13 Weather? <laughs> well, I feel so pumped up. Just felt I just wanted to be really dramatic there. Yeah. So that's what happened. This is a very anticlimactic forecast. Are you ready for this? OK, but we kind of love this, right? Isn't the sunshine lovely? Yes, loving it. it. Yes, hesitant. Yes, we're excited about the sunshine today. But hey, changes are rolling in later on this week. Rain by Tuesday. And I think we could be dodging at least a couple of scattered showers Thanksgiving and Black Friday. Friday. It's a spectacular start to the day over La Push, a mixture of clouds. Now, November, quick reminder, it's typically our wettest month out of the entire year at SeaTac. So it is so weird that we've been dry for so long. The all time record for the longest dry spell November at SeaTac, 13 days from 2000. Well, so far in 2022, as of yesterday, we've had 12 dry days. Today would make 13, 93 and 56. We had 11 consecutive dry days. Our last measurable rain, SeaTac, was on the 7th. And again, staying dry today, I think we'll very likely tie the record for the longest dry spell if not beat it, if Monday stays dry at SeaTac too. Here's the hour by hour breakdown. It might be dry, but it is chilly. 32 degrees right now, mid 40s, noon, 4 o'clock, about 42 going into 10. Highs for most backyards, mid to upper 40s, couple of 50s. Best chance for that along the coast. 41 Snoqualmie, 35 Wenatchee. Today's weather story, increasing clouds later today and the chance for drizzle or light showers late tonight, mostly for the coast. But where those showers happen could be some icy spots spots tomorrow morning. Let's press fast forward into Thanksgiving, shall we? A high of 57. Uh, there is the chance for at least some isolated showers and it will be mainly cloudy. Stay with us because this forecast is evolving. Uh, if you're hitting up some uh, malls going into Black Friday, midnight Thanksgiving night, 44, 10 a.m. Friday, upper 40s. And we're talking about 50 degrees for a temperature into five o'clock. Seven day forecast goes like this. Overnight lows in the upper 30s tomorrow morning. Spotty shower on Monday. Better chance for rain on Tuesday. Could be breezy, locally windy. Fewer showers on Wednesday. Dodging a few showers as we go into Thursday and Friday. And for Apple Cup and Pullman, we're expecting dry weather and very cold temperatures. All right, more on your neighborhood heights coming up next. I'll send it back to you.